ever thought of living like this? You and the wife, just a piece of English country you can call your own. Sunshine, good honest crops, no brick walls to stop your eyes wandering over a green and smiling land. Of course you need help, the odd bit of machinery you've got to keep up to date, and a real down-to-earth stockman you know you could trust. And this is Farmer Dickens's life, has been best part of 70 years. But suppose you're a bit younger than that, no capital to speak of, sick of the crowds and the daily rush. Could you break out into a life like this? Air to breathe, room to move. What a life for the kids. Ralph Human has done it, made the break, he and his wife. A tiny farm, six Hertfordshire acres, that's all. Impossibly uneconomic, you'd be told. Yet they're making it pay. Piglets raised so carefully that Ralph has cut losses from an expected 15% average to under three. It can be done, but be warned. It's a vanishing way of life. This is the man of the future, who's here today and in increasing numbers, the new farm worker. Farm worker, living in an 8,000 pound house, running a brand new car, earning over a thousand pounds a year. Yes, Don's a farm worker, but it'd be nearer the mark if you call him a farm technologist. Arriving for the day's work, and he and his mates have no less than a thousand pigs to look after. Mates? What mates? There aren't any. Don's entirely on his own. A switch or two to operate, a basic minimum of physical labor that the machines haven't yet got round to doing, but they will, and the day's work has begun. waiting to be fed, greedy pigs. And breakfast is served in 50 pens simultaneously on the Alvis Brothers Somerset farm, a diet perfectly and automatically balanced to produce the best English bacon, than which there is none better. He'd like to be a pigman when he grows up, but by that time there'll probably be machines to press the buttons. One thing a machine can't do, look after health. And today's pig uses up antibiotics as fast as humans. What goes in must come out, and the faithful machines sluice the dung into pits, from whence, completing the true farming cycle, it will return to the land. And on the land, the corn will grow and be harvested. Harvested, of course, by machines, and soon they'll be automated, driverless, and then driven by machine to the automated granary. Here, just two men cope with 4,000 tons of wheat and barley. The granary belongs not to a foodstuffs company, but to a group of 20 neighboring farmers of the Shropshire Rekin, who club together to build it with the help of a one-third government grant. And visitors from the world over come to study not only a plant that cleans, weighs, dries, and delivers grain in one continuous process, the largest of its kind in Britain, but also the means by which farmers, traditionally lone wolves, combined in a most successful cooperative venture. Two factors make projects like this the certain blueprint for the future. One is the enormous productive capacity of modern automated plant and its cost. No one farmer could fully use or afford it. Another is the continuing drift from the land. Full-time workers leaving the farms at the rate of 20,000 a year. Working far shorter hours and with much less physical effort, two men already do the work of three pre-war. Soon, one man only will be available for the same work. Automation is the only solution.
and the grain, clean, dried, weighed, stored, comes in due season back to the animals. Still no hand has touched it. Another button is pressed, another machine starts up. With this method, here demonstrated at Shropshire's Harper Adams College, a single man can care for 300 cows or up to a thousand beef cattle. All he does at mealtimes is open the dining room door. Back in Somerset at the Alvis farm, a once disappearing craft is being revived, farmhouse cheese making. But with what a difference. To be a dairy maid today is also to be an automotive process controller. In simple terms, milk goes in one end of this machine and cheese comes out the other. But between the two ends, scores of delicate and complicated processes take place, all exactly controlled to produce the type of cheese wanted. But no artificial materials are used. The result is literally a pure dairy product. Automation hasn't gone the whole way in this plant, which gives us a chance to look at a couple of real, live human beings. But for how long? A dairy engineering exhibition at London's Earl's Court provides a pointer to the future. processing milk to keep fresh for many months unrefrigerated, leading maybe to the end of the milkman. The odd man is still to be seen here and there among the machinery, but more and more he seems the odd man out. Already, there is no technical reason why a farm should not be totally automated under electronic control, excepting only animal husbandry. But even the animals may be on their way out. Methods already exist for extracting protein direct from plants. Machines like this to dispose of solid waste matters. Machines that clean themselves and other machines. It can't happen in my lifetime. How often have we said that and been wrong? Farmer Dickens is 70, but only a fool would bet that it won't happen in his. <laughs>